Or no, rather. Yeah, maybe. I think better time. Let's see who Just maybe, right? is going to have a, have a better earlier. time right now. Aonic Philippines is now on match point in this best of three series. And we're taking a look on the composition that we're trying to see the possibilities with. Lord JM finally back on the Benedetta. And let's see how this goes for Aonic Philippines. Will they have this first sweep? Or will Minana Evos take this to a tiebreaker once more? The main concern that I have here with the lineup of the side of Minana Evos is the fact that they don't have magic damage. It's, again, going to be an Angela at this point, which is why I'm not going to be surprised if Lancey AR will start to build an Enchanted Talisman first instead of prioritizing the new item, which is the Flask of the Oasis that boosts the regenerative factor coming in from the support heroes yeah. that are now part of the meta. Talking about emblems right now, more on the Wilderness Blessing once again, where two heroes coming from the side of Minana Evos and two heroes as well from the side of Onyx Philippines will be using it. Both tenacity for the marksmen to keep themselves in the situation or inside the fight, whereas adaptiveness will be added to the Brody to at least assist him in the early portions yeah, of the matchup. Completely agree, especially for Ryzen. If he just chooses to go for blade armor, everyone's just not going to do damage. Right. <laughs> oh my god. It's going to yeah. be a long game. That Baksha is going to be unkillable. Just imagine having more team fights with his own composition. I can't imagine the balance right now in just team fights for Banana Evos. But who am I to question their own strength that they gave them a point out of the world champs? You are OSX. You, yeah, man. you always have the right. You always have the right. Yeah, man. But because this is just them, it's a prowess. It's just by, by that, folks, it's just gathering them up for, for opportunities such as that. Because at some point, Minana Evos could utilize more of their team fights, and when that arrow leads towards that possibility, they just completely go all in, just as that. Well, in terms of possibilities, I think the Benedetta just has so much possibility here. Because Lord JM, I will say this over and over again. Just give this guy a gun. Give this guy a really high mechanical hero, a Benedetta. He's going to do magic. Look at this. Right now, he is actually... Styling and profiling Ooh. right now, hunting down that uh, Matilda, looking for more targets right now. That is, of course, Jim, oh, who no. has that Turaga armor back. That means he's staying, but look at him. It's so hard to stop him. He gets first blood still. Still, Minana Evos winning that one, a sacrifice of one from Lord GMAR, and they're not stopping. Eyes on the purple, Superfins on the bush, though. Bruce could drop in low on health as well. So it's clear the Tiger slowly winning early game, Hans. Lord JM, JM just means just move, right? Lord just move at this point. It's something that you, you have to do, but at oh one point, you also goodness. have to take care of your teammates. What a wonderful initiation coming in from Super Friends to equalize the situation. And just when we thought it's going to be a better game for Lancey, hold your horses because Super Friends is back at it again. I think it's just micro. You misheard it. Just mechanics, yeah. just micro. Just mechanics, just micro. Yeah. <laughs> you got that right. Fair enough. Because that's all he wants. He just wants to move. You give him freedom to move. If fams, you can move, but you don't do damage. That's true. You, on the Pakito, you move, you kill someone. Same with the Vendetta. You move, someone goes down. So, yeah, just move can also work. All yeah. right. The comfort right now of Lord Jim having the Benedetta on his hands. Man, he was just so slippery back in the back line of Onyx Philippines. And they were all using all the resources to catch him. Yeah. Thought of a diversion. Oh. Oh, Even he, right now. Look at that. Just looking for a way to take him down. Pressure is just boiling up to the EXP lane. Well, when all of this is happening. We're looking at Perk Siva and as well as Nets. <laughs> trying to get a hand of uh, a kill out of Dominic AR because one of the things that we're looking upon here is the damage department you guys mentioned this because Onyx Philippines has balance in damage and magic. It's the same scenario for the marksman department. It's still Nets using the Erethel. It's also Doming using the Brody. And unfortunately for the side of Inanna Evos, we haven't seen Brody that much in action because all of the action is happening here at the AXP lane. Lord JM is forcing the rest of the members of Onyx to react to him. Jem is not really having like the worst time, but he needs to be able to stay in this lane yeah. as Benedetta is one of the fastest to roam around the map. Seems to be fine right now, though Minana might have problems here. Nope. Still going to be Boyet securing that turtle. It's 3v4, and the sustain is just so much better here for Minana. 
that they're able to disengage, not giving anything to Onik. Nobody fall down. Completely just the objective. On to Minana. Evo's having a great start. Even by just looking at the trade here, Ryzen is just looking for a way to take this orange on that, for himself. That was a great pick up coming in from uh, Brusco DR to just use the way of the dragon to put the wheel away to put the huge tanky hero which is Ryzen out of the way for them to be able to get that turtle as of this moment so well, this is a very good second turtle that was secured by the side of Banana however there were rotations that are being made again by the side of Onyx Philippines to stop them on their tracks it's still a very close game but in terms of the scaling if they keep this longer this might side Onyx just because of the fact that Nets is there Nets is the guy to go yeah, Nets so far having a fun time. Look at this guy. He's already uh, <laughs> double leather jerkin. Oh, yeah. my goodness. And two daggers. <laughs> Man. He's got all the casual chop suey items. Yeah. Chop suey is like a vegetable mixy, mixy. dish where you mix all the things together just for everyone who doesn't know it. So yeah, now you know. It's a dish in the Philippines with, with is actually a is side just dish. just Philippines? Uh, maybe Chinese yeah. Uh, Chinese. Cuisine. That's, yeah, that's probably how we call it here. But, yeah, it's yeah. a mix of everything. And I think with that kind of decision from Nets, he answers more of the early game uh, spike of Minana Evos. And there's the, the stealing keeps on happening. Who uh, get who got it, though? Oh, hey, Onyx. He's going to try. <laughs> he was trying. He doesn't have retribution, so pretty, pretty slim chance. Nice uh, energy eruption here from Boyet. Get some of that attention from Brusco. Make sure he's safe and uh, comfy there. And make sure he's ready to go for the kick here. Maybe on the mid lane. Maybe does he have Flicker? He's going to go for oh, it. Oh, Flicker oh. is possible. Doesn't even oh, need it. No. Has a Purify. Super Friends going to stay alive. That's the Purify doing the work for Onik. Super Friends in a way. He, although he had an Angela, he's still going to go out safe. Super Friends, I think, also still has the Heart Guard. Yeah, yeah. So he's going to be able to maybe use it to make sure Ryzen secures this retribution. But look at that boy. It already has the uh, preemptive heart guard. And that's going to be the steal. Or I would say the 50-50 going over to Ryzen with the TP up front. That was yeah. a great pick off coming in from the side of Inanna Evo. So rather Onyx Philippines as they got the turtle for themselves. It's going to be the first turtle secured by the Sonics at this point. But again... A return of gameplay. This time, I mean, it's Minana Evos who's actually giving a dose of Onyx medicine to Onyx themselves because they're finally getting the first turret of this matchup. And this is something that, you know, Minana hasn't done in game number one. They weren't able to translate those skills or maybe even when the kills weren't happening. If Onik exhausts most of their resources, then that's the time for Minana to at least get a bunch from the other sides of the map, get more turrets, get more jungle objectives, and it's nice that they're finally doing that. However, Onik made sure to back it up with their very own up top. That's the reset kicking in for the Neon Tigers, getting a chance here for Onik Philippines. And just by looking at you guys just mentioned early on, it, it was even a slow start even for the turret takedowns because they're most likely capitalizing on their own momentum, especially with the items. Look at that initiation from Perxima, though. Oh, that's very aggressive right there, and that's exactly what you get with the Matilda. That's why you pick it up with a hard guard. Oh, no. Man, Nets is going to be so scary here. Going straight for Boya as well. Again, just Woo! trying to buy up some of that cooldown for the Torn Apart memory. And now, I think Onik, they got what they wanted. Look at JM. He's doing his job. He's doing his fang. Oh, he got Certainly his... Eagle, though. Oh, man, that's a good way to go down. You bought some time, but you didn't get any kills. I would yeah. say that's the best case for JM. But still, he, he managed to take down the turret he down got a turret. Mid. Exactly. It's just slowly but surely for Minani he was right now, Hans. He's playing proactively at this point. You love to see it coming in from J Lord JM to just always be part or not even be part of those fights. But again, Woo! stay as of the moment. Beautiful guiding win coming in from the rest of the members to just keep in all the action. Because again, it was Perksiva who almost died in that skirmish down bot. But he made sure that the guy... Guiding Wind, together with an extra favor, a favor onto the Rome Department, would keep him safe, give him extra shields from the Torn Department memory, and keep him away from distraction. <sighs> the distance right now, it's Minan Evo's game to make it all work. It looks like everything's going to be slippery. Look at that. Initiation is about to happen. Wow, that's a messy team fight. I don't even want to oh. hold that. <laughs> Ryzen, though, still will secure Vista. That's pretty big. Jam, good pressure on the domain. No Hard guard coming in clutch here, but not going to be enough to take 
him or make sure he doesn't go down. And Ryzen was the only one to fall down oh from Onyx Philippines. Boy. They're taking this mid turret for themselves and they're pushing slowly with that three man tag from Inanna Evos complete. They're winning and they're just looking for a way to end this faster than they could have. Wow, Onyx Philippines completely having a change even from the lead. And Minana is now pushed to a state to even defend. I was just wondering what Lancey was doing in the skirmish itself. It, he wasn't able to just use the heart guard for, to protect the rest of his teammates because he late. was there. He was yeah. part of all of the action. If, and if you're the Angela, you would prefer to be probably back in the base. Just waiting, just chilling, and then when all things go hell and loose, that's the time for you to strike. But speaking Lord of which, Lord JM. Oh man, the mechanics will not be enough to save him this time. Nah. That is just a sad sight to see. With the immortality present from Jeff right now, they could actually go full on hard damage against Minana Evos. They're left with three turrets in their own base, and just by looking at the gold here, Nets is just rising up and probably has more items to answer for Minana Evos to stay in. When you see a Benedetta just falling like that so quickly, so easily, even with everything that the Benedetta's Bened doing, that's a bad sign. Yeah, got, you got a problem. You, you got a problem in your hands. Uh, unfortunately, that is the case. That is a problem that the side of Manana Evos has to address at this point. Because again, even you still have to give props to Domingue AR, right? Being close in terms of like the damage department towards Nets as well, coming in from Onyx Philippines. But again, if we have to take note of what Minana needs to do to be able to bounce back in this game, it's just that they just need to use the wave clear potential that they have. Wait for an opportunity or a blunder coming in from Onyx Philippines. Maybe a mistaken circling eagle. But that, that's, that's the thing with the nah. patch right now, right? <laughs> no, it's, no, bro. It's so difficult to do. No, you... If it's the previous patch, maybe, maybe a blunder circling eagle would have worked. But this time, you have direction. You know where your destination is going to be. It's one direction for Onyx Philippines with the pickup of this Matilda. Perksiva having so much perks in four initiations. He's just getting on a full frenzy setup most of the time. Super Friends, another major pickup. And with that kind of penetration, without the balance of magic from Inanna Evos, there's so much thing that they need to answer. How's their defense now working for them? How's the damage working for them? Because if attack damage is concerned, how will they take this to a longer team fight? Because as of now, the, another purple could be stolen from them. And Oni Film is just here. I'm just watching. They no longer oh. can do anything but again a kick. That's going to be beautiful here. Brusco can't really get in the position where the kick is going to matter. Yeah. Everyone just got knocked up there. Beautiful flight of Perkziva. Oh, yeah. oh. JM with the last insanity just doing so much. Man, oh man. Onik looking fire. I mean, for Gem, that's literal, but you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, the roar was only co the cost of Oni Philippines. They're still winning. They're still pushing. How's Minana doing now? Well, they oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. oh. It hurts. Oh. Ow. Man, what is Nets up? What, what did he have for breakfast? I wanted to get me some of that. Yeah. There's no safety for Lord JM, even from the few hits of the arrows coming from this Irithyll alone. Nets is... My goodness, like 1,000 damage per hit. I don't know, man. You can parry everything. You can just eye for try. an eye. But once you just squint or just, you know, peeked a little bit, then you're done. That is Nets right now. On to at least a full build at this point, if I'm, if I'm suspecting. He already has a Berserker's Fury, a Malefic Roar, even Hasclaws. Heck, he doesn't even have a full build just yet. The final item is going to be the Wind of Nature. My goodness, the a wind of needed. nature. He is so offensive to the point that he no longer cares about the defensive item. Go ahead and give me something. Bro, they have the Mathilda. They have more ways to even have us. Oh, oh so they got set up here. Yeah, good set up. And against Br Brusco, finally finds the target. But it's in the wrong angle. And no one to follow it up as well. Nets on top side, do, go, doing a solo on that turret. While everyone is on mid, just trying to get some of these attentions. Boyet getting burned to a crisp here by Jem. Jem doing a good job as well in here. He still has immortality, so he's still a viable front line. Will be able to at least burn down oh, that Lord. Oh, they're just pushing. Lord Jem, he's trying to buy some time. Trying to see if he can still keep this base alive. Turret will fall on top side. Oh my god, it's just Minana catching for breath here. Okay, how will they even hold this? Onik, 
Onik Philippines just pushing, looking for a way to just take this final turret down against Minana Evos. How's the defense now? How can they even hold this? Is there even a way, Hans, right now to just even uh, a chance? But hold that thought. Oh, I'm not going to it again. It's a party right here in Onik Philippines' camp. Oh, oh. No, no way. That's... That would have been that would have been a beautiful re-engage, but no, it's not going to be allowed here by Onik. Everyone's actually pretty low, so they just should probably back off and wait for the next one. Looks like that's exactly what they're going to do. But they're so strong at this point. They're Bro. 10 point two k in, so they just you know it, it was already at least like there were no minions in like the next five to ten seconds, but they just stayed there to prove a point to the side of Minana Evos that hey. You can use your torn apart memory. We're not going to care about anything because we're already leading. And we also have Nets who has 13,545 and probably a lot more still growing at this point. Doming also has an entirely full build right now with a Demon Hunter sword uh, together with a Rose Gold Meteor to just give an immense amount of shield once the HP goes down to a bottom. But Rockheart is right. They're being burned down to us to a crisp because the underrated person here is Gem. Nobody can burst Gem down. Yeah, that's the problem. When you go on overcooked, there's no turning back. I haven't actually seen Gem pop immortality all game. Right? No. So, <laughs> he's, he's just, just there. It's, I think it's just completely insurance for him. Yeah. Just in case I'm going to be the first target. But Perksiva, man, all of the things he's just initiating. Oh, my oh, goodness. Perk. The distance. Is this the, is this the blunder you're talking about, the OSX? Might as Because well. that was a huge one. Oh, wait. That's here doing some good damage. But, of course, that shielding from Lancy is actually massive. Wow. All right, so it's going to be the re-engage here, blocking in up front. Nets is still at the back. He's still doing good Prince. with the heavy crossbow. But they're running out Boy of both of Boy at AR, he's burned. Finally, the immortality is used up. But, and again, he is going to have some problems. The back line's look, looking really thin here for Onik. Oh, my goodness. JM still going. JM still going. Still still going. going. Nobody stop this guy. He can't he stop him. Stop he him. wants everything. The base, though. Oh, the base. The base. Minana Evo, check Someone your base. Someone has to go back. You got to go Someone home. Someone has minions. to go back. The minions. Go this back right back. now. Guys, go back. Oh, the base. My goodness. Go back. No. no. Uh, they saw blood in their eyes. Even the players of Onyx Philippines had the best answer. And that winning moment is brought to you by our official sponsor, FWD Life Insurance. Onyx Philippines talking about minions in the base. That is insurance. Check your recall, ladies and gentlemen. Onyx Check your recall. completely did a split. If there were moments of the day where we tell <laughs> all of the players to take discipline in using the recalls and using the TPs. In this one, you have to press your TPs. The one time. The one time. You need to press the you recalls. You had the one time. Check your recall. Check your recall. Guys, I don't even know how to analyze it. <laughs> this was the line of, I'm I just, so sorry. I just said someone just has to go back. It was, just go back, one of you. It was so obvious. Oh, it was nobody, so obvious. That nobody took note on the final oh magic that was goodness. working under the base. And they were just completely preoccupied and taking everybody, some taking somebody out of Onyx Philippines. Still... A good try coming in from the side of Minana Evos. Lord